Hey everybody, it's Eric from the Mature Minded Gamers. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own Imperium Galactic Survival Server. This is for a dedicated server, which means you cannot play and host on the same machine. Uh, you have to have ports open to do that um, and other things set. And we're not, we're not going to cover that in this video. So first thing you need to do is open your internet browser and you want to go to Google. Type in Steam. DMD. On this first link here, we're going to do this for Windows. On Windows, it's right here it says download Steam CMD. Download that. If you already have Steam CMD, you won't actually have to do this, but if you don't, I'm going to hit save as. Wherever it downloaded to, you want to actually extract this whole folder and you need to extract it into a new folder. I always put mine either on my desktop or directly onto my C drive. Um, and I name it Steam CMD just to keep it simple. So make a folder, right click, go new folder, name it Steam CMD or whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And then you want to extract that file that you just downloaded into this folder. So you just go to wherever you download it. Mine's in my downloads right here. Right click, oops, that's not the zip, here it is. Right click, go extract all, and then actually point to that folder you just created on your desktop. Mine, hit okay. Extract and that's going to actually extract it. And you're going to see inside there's going to be a Steam CMD.exe. You actually want to go ahead and run that, and it's going to download all these files and fill up your folder a little bit. And wherever you made this folder is where all your server files are going to be stored, too. So you need to put it somewhere that's got a little bit of room to store all that information, and that can take a little bit of time depending on how big your server is. So once you have that done, you just need to type in Login, space, anonymous, just like that, and hit enter. It's going to log you in. Now you should get another prompt. You need to type in app underscore update space, and the app ID for the Galactic Survival Server is 530870, and hit enter. And it's going to download all the files for your server. And it's going to take some time depending on your connection speed. Um, once it's done, it's going to stop you back. It's going to stop you back at a prompt. So when you're in here, this is where you're going to set your name. Uh, the server port by default is set to 3000. Um, I made mine 27015. It doesn't matter what you make this as long as you have it open on your firewall and router. If you don't, then people are not going to see your server. You're not going to be able to connect to your server. You got to have that open. Um, the, your server name right down here. Um, you'll see here that a lot of these will have uh, pound marks on them like this. And so when you when you put in what you want, you just delete it out. And then make sure there's no line. So some of these will have like right here. If I delete that, you see how it's it's got a little line there, it's not even. You want to make it even with uh, all the other code. And set whatever you want in here. Um, obviously, if you want a password, put a password in. Your max players. There's a bunch of other settings here you can change if you want. If you want to use tele, Telenet server to connect, you can settle that here. Um, Server public needs to be set to true if you want, to, want it to be able to uh, outside people to be able to connect to it. And down at the bottom, you'll see down here is where you can change survival mode or creative mode. You can also set your seed right here. Um, and that's really all the settings you're going to want to mess with right now about that. But once you have it all set the way you want, make sure you hit file save. You can close that out now. Now you're going to run a run this no graphics. So the Imperial dedicated no graphics.cmd right here. You're gonna to wanna to run that one if you're actually running it on a server. 
this one right here is the one you want. Do you just want to double click on it and it's going to pop up this little screen and tell you, you know, if you want to wait or you can just hit a button. And now this doesn't keep a window for you. You, you have to check your task manager. So you want to open up your task manager then you want to make sure you have an Imperial Playfield server and a dedicated server both running. So that means your server is up and running. And when you're done playing, if you want to shut it down, um, this is where you do it. You'd have to actually end the task. And you have to end both of them. Uh, you have to start with the dedicated .exe first, then you can end Playfield. Otherwise, Playfield will start back up. All right, now to check to make sure your server is up and running, if you go up to your, if you load the Steam uh, console and then go up to View and click on Servers, it's going to pop up a screen just like this. This is your servers tab. And then you can see over here where it says LAN is the tab that you want to have selected. And then if you see your server, which is here the one we just created, then you know your server is correctly up and running. If you don't see it there, then you have some kind of port blocking it or firewall blocking it or maybe another server's running that's blocking it. Something on your end you got to fix. In that case, there's nothing I'm really going to be able to do to help you. So that's a quick way to check it. All right, everybody. Hopefully this video helped you out. Please do me a favor. Leave me a comment. Uh, let me know that if it helped you and how much you're liking the game. It, you know, if you leave me a comment, I get some joy out of knowing I help people. That's what I do this for. So hit that follow and like button. And most importantly, stay safe and have yourself a great day.